Welcome everyone. We're just about to get started. I'm delighted people are joining us walking through the virtual doorway for this very special event as we celebrate professionalism at the Larner College of Medicine. I get to see the numbers and they're still rising. So I'm, I couldn't be more pleased to, to see the group joining us and we will be getting started in just a moment. Okay, why don't we go ahead and get things started? Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this special event um, where we kick off the uh, Professionalism Week and we celebrate the awardees who are among the finest of such a fine group of individuals, students, faculty and staff in the Larner College of Medicine. This week marks the third anniversary of the formal introduction and celebration of our Larner College of Medicine Statement on Professionalism, which was developed by a broad and diverse task force of students, trainees, faculty, and staff. That was in May of 2019, and 10 months later, we were all faced by a pandemic that's tested all of us in one way or another. But thanks to our true north, which very many of us carry on our, our own um, ID badges, uh, we've been guided through challenging times in a very re real way, striving to um, live up to the aspiration of professionalism that we put forth. And I'll say it now for us, our Lerner College of Medicine community upholds the highest standards of professionalism as we follow our passion for lifelong learning and improvement. We demonstrate professionalism through integrity, accountability, compassion, altruism, and social responsibility. We honor the trust our society has placed in us as stewards of the art and science of medicine, relying on cultural humility, kindness, and respect to guide our daily interactions. We expect all members of our community to embrace these principles of professionalism as we strive to conduct and support patient care research, and education that are second to none. Now, professionalism isn't defined by how you look or where you're from. It has to do with how you treat others, how you treat patients, and your commitment to the, the um, characteristics that are included in that statement. I'm so pleased to once again be celebrating our commitment to professionalism at our college. Our community is filled with shining examples of professionalism exhibited every day by faculty, staff, medical students, and graduate students. This is our time to recognize members from each of those four groups. Each year, I put out a call for nominations for these awards to our whole Larner community. And the community responded enthusiastically. We're fortunate to have a nominations review committee with members from across our community, including past award recipients who examined the nominations and made recommendations for these awards. I'm very thankful for the work of this committee and for all of you who took the time to write such thoughtful nominations. And now to tell you more about the committee and its processes, I'd like to introduce this year's committee chair, Dr. Jennifer Gilwey, Associate Professor of Medicine and Chief of the Division of General Internal Medicine, who is also a past recipient of the Dean's Award for Professionalism for Faculty. Dr. Gilwey. Great, thank you, Dean Page. This is certainly an exciting week. Uh, each year we have outstanding nominations and this year was absolutely no different. What was different this year is that we had more nominations than any other year so far. So that tells me uh, not only are we continuing to uphold the tenets of professionalism, but our colleagues are noticing and they're taking the time to nominate. But this is outstanding. Our review committee was comprised of previous award winners from the last two years, as well as Dr. Mike Previs from the Dean's original Committee on Professionalism. We ranked and reviewed over 60 submissions in the categories of faculty, staff, med student, and graduate student. We then presented our top candidates to Dean Page for final approval, and that's how we've gotten here today. 
So congratulations to all who were nominated. A big thanks to the committee that I worked with this year. You are all outstanding. And let's go on to meet our award winners now. Dean Page. Thank you so much, Dr. Gilwee. We'll be doing each group one at a time. This year, we're announcing the names of everyone who was nominated. Uh, we're not announcing winners, we're announcing the awardees because really everyone who was nominated is a winner and should be celebrated. Now, the, those who have received the awards are, were notified in advance and they're here to accept their awards with us today. Those who were nominated otherwise are not aware, but we're going to be announcing their names now and I'll be congratulating them uh, later on this afternoon. On the other hand, if you see them or have a chance to just send them a note of congratulations, I'm sure they would uh, be, be grateful. So first of all, I'd like to name the medical students who were nominee, nominated in alphabetical order. Richard Brock, Amanda Gallenkamp, Luke Higgins, Simran Kalsi, and Elise Prohoda. And I'm pleased to announce that the 2022 Dean's Medical Student Award for Professionalism is awarded to Richard Brock from the class of 2022. I'd like to introduce Dr. Emily Greenberger, Assistant Professor of Medicine and the nominator for our awardee, who will share some of her reasons for nominating Richard. Dr. Greenberger. Thank you so much, Dean Page. Uh, my name is Emily Greenberger. I'm a primary care internist and the course director for the fourth year elective course preparation for practice, which helps incoming fourth year students start the residency application process. And this year I reached out to graduating students for feedback on the course and Rich and a couple of his classmates who had recently taken the course very eagerly volunteered to help. They were appointed student assistant course directors. And what impressed me most about Rich was his continual professional input and ideas for how to improve the course. This was completely on his own time and not for medical school credit or recognition in any way as he had already matched into residency. He gave uh, thoughtful and consistent feedback to me over several months via email and Zoom about course content and had some fantastic ideas for new content. He had a particular interest in a session called giving and receiving feedback. Uh, he developed a lecture on the topic, and it was actually the best talk on feedback that I've ever heard. Uh, he also developed a talk on succeeding in the medicine acting internship and helped organize an evening student advising panel. I'm very impressed by Rich and exceedingly grateful for his dedication to improving this course for the benefit of his peers. Uh, applying to residency is a stressful process for students. And Rich really went above and beyond to coach the class of 2023 through it. And they and I are all very lucky to have him on the team. So thank you so much, Rick, and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Greenberger. It's now my great pleasure to present this plaque to Richard Brock, the 2022 Dean's Medical Student Awardee for Professionalism. Richard? Thank you, Dr. Greenberger. Thank you everyone so much for the kind words and for the people that took the, the time to nominate me for this award. Um, I feel really honored to be here. Um, when I think about professionalism, I think of healthcare leaders such as Dr. Paul Farmer, Dr. Mona Hanna-Atisha, um, Dr. Kamara Jones, and um, those who have redefined what professionalism means in healthcare. I hope to continue learning from them and from all the wonderful mentors at Larner and in my future workplace at UCLA, um, especially as we continue to face the ongoing threats to abortion rights and LGBTQ care. It's important now more than ever to use our positions as physicians to uphold the social responsibility that is in our professionalism statements. Um, so thank you all so much. Thank you very much again, Richard, and congratulations. We'll now move on to the 2022 uh, Dean's Graduate Student Award for Professionalism. There were four nominees in this category, JJ Bivona, Jeff Brabeck, Montana K. Lara, and Trevor Wolf. 
and I'm pleased to announce the 2022 Dean's Graduate Student Award for Professionalism is awarded to Trevor Wolf. I'd now like to introduce a nominator for Mr. Wolf, herself a nominee in this category, and the recipient of the 2022 Larner Gender Equity Award, graduate student Montana Le K. Lara, to share her thoughts about Trevor and this award. Thanks so much, Dean Page. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Montana, and I'm a PhD candidate from the Neuroscience Graduate Program. I nominated Trevor because he really goes above and beyond to uphold the tenets of professionalism. He models integrity, respectfulness, and compassion in his many roles on campus. He conducts research, teaches, mentors, advocates, and really helps build community. For the past four years, I have seen him work with countless organizations and department on and off campus to coordinate events and connections specifically for grad students. And as he has built his network, he constantly uplifts those around him and fosters collaboration and communication to the mutual benefit of all those he works with. And I just wanna especially note his commitment to learning and challenging his own privilege and place in STEM and academia. He is a fierce advocate of creating inclusive and equitable spaces, specifically when he brings diverse people together. He always makes sure to include individuals whose perspectives broaden our own and thus create an environment for success. There is really no one I can think of who would be more deserving of this award. Thank you very much, Ms. Laura. It's now my pleasure to present this plaque to Trevor Wolf, the 2022 Dean's Graduate Student Award for Professionalism. Mr. Wolf. Thanks, Dean Page. And uh, thank you to the College of Medicine and the committee uh, for selecting me and also Montana for, for nominating me. Um, this is quite the honor. Uh, I also wanna thank uh, several people that I've worked with a lot over the past four years. Um, and first and foremost is a name that's probably familiar to everyone in the College of Medicine, but Erin Montgomery. Um, I work with her on pretty much every committee that I'm on um, outside of the lab. Uh, she's been great at helping us build networks to connect with people to have uh, meaningful and lasting uh, change for graduate students uh, here at UVM so that we can achieve the careers that we hope uh, to one day have. I also want to thank Holly Foster. She's in the SEMS. Um, for helping uh, organize many events and also acting as just like Aaron, um, a helping hand who's on the staff side of the university, which is just imperative um, for helping promote graduate uh, career education. Um, and also to the Career Mobility Committee, uh, Montana, John, Hannah, Uma, and all the past members. Um, it's been great uh, the past three years to work with you all, and I'm happy that uh, it is going to continue on with Hannah as the president. And finally, I'd like to thank my family. I know you're all on here. <laughs> thank you all so much for the support. Thank you, Trevor, and congratulations to you and your family. And it sounded like you had another cheerleader there in the background. Um, we'll now move on to the Dean's Staff Award for Professionalism. Many of you have heard me say before, we could not begin to accomplish what we do in terms of clinical care, education and research, and commitment to our community if it weren't for our staff. They're the glue that really hold us together and should, and I hope do feel ownership for everything we do in terms of our missions. This year, there were 17 staff members nominated in, in this category. So they really showed up in terms of getting engaged and I'm grateful for that. They were Mindy Beam, Lisa Beaulieu, Alex Boudreau, Elizabeth Cote, Liz Dorman, El Samayi, Vicki Gilwee, Carrie Jukes, Nellie Katrina Lopez, Julie Lovett, Tina Mazuzan, Megan McKenna, Terry Messier, Daniel Mills, Lindsay Moore, Amy Shore, and Jason Tosley. And the 2022 Dean Staff Award for Professionalism this year is awarded to Mindy Bean from the Department of Pediatrics. Dr. Lewis First, Chair and Professor of Pediatrics is here to share some thoughts about this awardee. Dr. First. 
Thank you, Dean Page. Good afternoon, everybody. It is my pleasure to say a few words about Mindy Bean, who began with us in 2015 as a financial specialist. And then last year, with the retirement of Sue Victory, another outstanding professional, became our department administrator. And in the past year, she has received more unsolicited positive accolades. It's as if she's been doing this job for decades, as she brings in people comment on this, her compassion, her integrity, her cultural humility, her kindness and respect to basically everything she does in this role. Needless to say, people want to work with Mindy for Mindy because of how supportive she is, how inclusive she is, how caring she is, wanting every person in our department to feel valued for what they do and what they bring to the table. In fact, Mindy has been a member of the staff council for the university, and she was awarded this past year a LEAF award, L-E-A-F, where that stands for leadership, engagement, advocacy, and forward-looking collaborative attitude. That spells Mindy, and it also spells LEAF in a nutshell. Quality she brings, as I said, to everything she does. A particular highlight has been what Mindy has done with our Vermont Child Health Improvement Program, which for those of you who don't know, is a multi-million dollar health services research program that touches and incorporates faculty and staff from multiple departments, both at the Larner College of Medicine, the College of Nursing and Health Professions, and at our university. And this past year, we had the senior administrator and the executive director retire. And Mindy, not knowing a lot about VCHIP, in addition to everything else she was doing, stepped in to keep the trains running and the planes flying as she oversaw the grants, the contracts, the staffing issues, et cetera. And we didn't miss a beat. And she did all this while also running every other aspect of our department from recruitments to personnel to budgets and still finding time in a Mindy Bean way to hold a number of wellness events, incorporating everyone to make people feel good and positive about this department and the Larner College of Medicine and our university. So she is a stellar recipient of this year's Staff Professionalism Award. It is well-earned, Mindy, and well-deserved, and I can't think of a better person amongst the many, many people who are qualified and are doing outstanding professional work, but congratulations. Thank you, Dr. First. It's now my pleasure to present this plaque to Mindy Bean, the 2022 Dean Staff Award for Professionalism. Congratulations, Ms. Bean. Thank you so much. I, um, I'm gonna be short and sweet, but I thank you so much, Dean Page, and thank you, Dr. First. I'm overwhelmed with all of those words. That's pretty incredible. Um, I really just wanna thank all of the staff that I've worked with at the College of Medicine. I think that that's how I really learned to be the professional that I am and the professional that I strive to be. And I really appreciate all of these opportunities. Thank you so much. Thank you and congratulations again. We now move on to our final category, the Dean's Faculty Award for Professionalism. This year, there were 33 nominations in this category. It makes it hard, but we've, we've committed to a single award that we present each year, but every one of these individuals is a winner in their own way for already being recognized for a level of professionalism by their peers. This year, the nominees were Amir Abu Alpha, W. Kemper Alston, Christopher Anker, Heather Bradeen, Leanna Burgess, Ryalyn Carter, Allison Cialino, Stephen F. Evers, Natalie Feldman, Jonathan Flyer, Laura Green, Emily Guy, Victoria Hart, Naomi Hody, Frank Idleman, Alicia Jacobs, Noah Kolb, Karen Lounsbury, Mariah McNamara, Kate Nicholas, Mark Passanen, Tom Peterson, David Rand, Molly Rideout, Carolyn Reilly, Ellie Reiser, Sarah Schlein, Matthew Siget, Myatt Strange, George Wellman, Katie Wells, Kara White and Richard Zabarek. Isn't that amazing? All of those individuals nominated by their peers. This year, the 2022 Dean's Faculty Award for Professionalism is awarded to Dr. Natalie Feldman, Associate Professor of Obstetrics, Gynecology and Reproductive Sciences 
and interim associate dean for admissions. Dr. Ira Bernstein, chair of her department, was a nominator for this awardee and will share some remarks regarding Dr. Feldman. Dr. Bernstein? Thank you, Dean Page. So I've had the privilege of knowing Dr. Feldman for over 30 years. Um, we were initially colleagues on labor and delivery where we side by side delivered babies and where I knew Natalie as a highly competent physician um, and an engaged educator. Um, Natalie chose to step away from clinical obstetrics but remained dedicated to undergraduate medical education. Um, and she became a facilitator in the professionalism communication reflections course and an advisor in the Albert Schweitzer program, demonstrating her early commitment to professionalism and medical student education. I managed to convince her to return to our department, at least temporarily, um, in the role of associate program director for our residency in 2013. And she served in that role for five years, always advancing innovative ideas in support of our residents um, and making the program stronger. Uh, during that time, um, she became a founding member of the Academic Medical, Medical Center's LEAP Committee, the Learning Environment and Professionalism Committee, for which she is now a co-chair. In 2017, she was named the Director of the Learning Environment for the Lorna College of Medicine, where she's been stalwart in her support of a positive, constructive educational environment, where she introduced the Accolades Initiative, in addition to her more routine work of addressing problems in our educational workplace. In recognition of both her professionalism and her ongoing contributions, she's been called upon by the Dean's Office to serve in interim roles in 2014 as the Interim Associate Dean for Students, and more recently and currently in the, as the Interim Associate Dean for Admissions. In many ways, I think Dr. Feldman has been the face of professionalism at the Lorna College of Medicine. She's balanced, thoughtful, a contributor in every, in every interaction, and an engaged partner in all projects. Um, it, is my, um, it has been my privilege in my career to work with her, and I believe she is a um, committed and dedicated professional who's well deserving of this award. Thank you very much, Dr. Bernstein. I'd now like to present this plaque to Dr. Natalie Feldman, the 2022 Dean's Faculty Awardee for Professionalism. Congratulations, Dr. Feldman. Thank you very much, Dean Page, and thank you, Dr. Bernstein, for those kind words. And thank you to the selection committee for the honor of this award. This recognition is especially meaningful to me as I've dedicated my post-clinical practice career to studying medical professionalism, specifically its relationship to patient care, medical education, positive learning and work environments, well-being, equity, and inclusion. In that effort, I'm proud to work at an institution that defines professionalism with tenets such as kindness, compassion, and cultural humility. I'm deeply grateful for the support I've received from the Larner College of Medicine and from my home department, as well as for the opportunity I've had to both learn from and collaborate with such wonderful colleagues, staff, and students. So thanks to all of you, and thanks again for the honor of this tremendous award. Dean Thank Page. you, Dr. Feldman. And congratulations again, Dr. Feldman. Thank you. As we reach the end of our awards program, I'd like to thank all the speakers who have joined us today and also say how deeply grateful I am to all the members of our community who responded so enthusiastically to the call for nominations and to the volunteers on the awards committee for their work. I will mention that the awardees were so proud of you. You now are members of next year's uh, committee to select our subsequent awardees for the next two years. There were so many fine nominees. As we can all see, these nominees are just among the many, many people that we could consider for such uh, recognition. The professionalism of the duties that are, are created by, uh, carried out by our community affects our entire region. This applies to Vermont, our colleagues and our branch campus in Connecticut and throughout our region and even the country. I hope by the time our fourth anniversary of our commitment to professionalism comes around, we will be able to gather again to, uh, to gather again in person to um, 
assert our commitment to cultural humility, kindness, and respect in all we do. I wanna thank you all for attending this event to honor our professionalism awardees and the nominees. So now I'd like to bring back all the participants in this event to, um, to have an opportunity to say good afternoon. Thank you for attending today. Congratulations to all of the nominees. Thanks to the nominators and especially congratulations to those we honored today. Thanks so much for attending today.